Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Phipps Festival of Lights. So this is a lovely little card and it's featuring our little friend Phip. And he is celebrating a festival of lights and he's lighting them with his own little magic power. And that's what we're doing. We're using fairy lanterns and FIP and a whole lot of blended colour. And of course, don't forget the mighty dot. Why not come with me and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm using multifarious card, six by six, and of course, masking papers, because we're going to be working with layers. So I'm just marking around the edge of the card so that I can cut it to size. I have left a little bit of a gap around the outside so that I can stick it to my craft mat. And I'm using the larger moon mask and I'm drawing the circle. So that's where my center bit of the action is going to be. And then I'm using the smaller moon mask. There we go. So that's my layers marked. And you know what happens next, don't you? That's right, we cut it out. So that's what I'm going to do. But I think I'll speed it up because you don't necessarily need to see me do this. Now, I have actually done it slightly awkwardly in that there's a bit of a, um, if you like, tag. But that will help me work out where on earth it goes. <laughs> when it comes to sticking the layers back down. So now I'm going to stick them on top of my card. And that little overhang is going to stick to the silicon mat for me. Yeah. I love it when I work at this speed. Doesn't happen all the time, I can tell you. Okay, so I've left one of the masks off because I'm going to be starting to create the colour. And we're going in with Elements Ink. And it's Sundance. And I'm just building the colour up slowly. Because this is where all the action's going to be happening, really. So once it's dry, I'm covering it with the masking tape layer and working on the next layer and again I'm using Sundance but I'm also adding a little bit of Della Blue and again we're just building the colour up slowly I'm adding some violet chalk as well and blending the two colours together and again once it's dry pop your layer back on now you know what if, if it doesn't want to stick down you can weight it as in put a put an ink pot over it or something which is what I do sometimes my alternative is to give it a quick blast with the heat gun so that the ink underneath is drier. See, I'm getting frustrated with it now. Sit, stay. Okay, so now we're moving on to the last layer and I'm using Elements Ink Della Blue. And again, just building that colour up slowly around the edge of that second mask. Goodness me, I'm speedy today. There we go. So that was that one. And I'm going to do a little bit of fairy lanterns by the looks of it. So what I'm trying to show you here is that there's colour behind where I've stamped. So what I'm doing is I'm working out where the lanterns are going to go. And you'll know you'll know where you want them to go. 
and I'm going to use some Sundance and I'm just lifting them up because I haven't I haven't put my stamp onto an acrylic board. I've still got it on the acetate so that I can bend it. Yeah, so now if I was to print on top of that now, which I'll do a bit later, you'll be able to see that it works. The lanterns are lit. Ta-da! There we go. And we're doing the same on that one. So that's all with Sundance, because that's a good place to start. They won't necessarily remain that colour, but it is a good place to start. And now I've got the mini fairy lantern. I love the minis. They're so versatile. You can use them to fill up gaps, whatever else you fancy. So I've got some confetti. And I've added the confetti to some of the Sundance that I'd done for the lanterns so that we get a bit of variation in our fairy lights. So here's some violet chalk going around it, just to give us that little bit of depth of contrast between the light and the shade. And going back in with my, oh, that's mermaid, hurrah. Mermaid seems to really add depth to these pieces. I love it. Look at it, slowly mm. coming to life. Mm. And there's some violet chalk going back in. You work on this until you're happy with the depth of colour, just alternating between your inks that you're using. So I've used Della Blue, Violet Chalk and Mermaid. If you wanted it to be a darker, darker colour, you can add some graphite. Aha, we're going to stamp. Love it. So... I'm using Versafine Claire Nocturne. And here goes, Fip is going to get stamped. <laughs> right in the centre. Just so his feet are poking out the circle of light. Fab. And I'm doing this now with <clears throat> the Fairy Lantern set and Fairy Lanterns. And I'm just going to put them over where I had put, do you remember those coloured circles from earlier? There we go. And again with those. And now my mini lantern. You can use whatever size acrylic board you feel comfortable with. And in this case, I just went with the one I was using. So I'm just going to add some fairy lanterns across the top like fairy lights. And now we come to Bosco pens. Hurrah! The yellow glitter, I really like. It just adds a subtle touch of colour to this like the light is just hitting FIP. And I'm a great believer in the mighty dot or orb, as I've started calling the open circles I do. And if you just do a line across FIP's feet, some spikes of grass, you've given him something to stand on. And you can do that in your glittery Posca. So we're going to add some different depth to it by adding some white Posca dots and orbs. And I'm giving you a close-up here to show you that what I've done is added some dots in and around the fairy lanterns. And I'm just adding some more yellowy glitter here. To let the light shine out. So we've got dots and orbs galore. And if you look at the fairy lanterns and just add some little white dots in the pattern that's already there from the stamp, it makes it look like, well, it, it makes it look like they're shining. So just carry on adding Posca pen dots, whether it's pale pink, aqua green, just, it'll just add that depth. And you've done it. Hurrah. Well done. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed how this card turned out. I hope you did too. I love the way 
we got to blend so many colours and it, in doing that it's taught us how the colours actually work together and what we can achieve with them using just one simple technique. Fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments please pop them in the post below and I'll do my best to get back to you. You take care. Thank you very much. See you again soon. Bye.